I got one. What did the mushroom say to the asparagus? I'm a fun guy. Get it? I'm a fun guy. <laughs> Come on. Hey, I'm Frank Pinello, and we're here in East Harlem today with Edible Schoolyard NYC. We're with some fourth graders. They're gonna teach us a little bit about composting, about planting, about cooking. I'm really excited to get into the kitchen with these kids and, and you know, see how much they've learned. We call our program a seed to table program. What that means is that we have garden teachers who are teaching kids about gardening, growing, planting, caring for plants. We also have cooking classes. So the, all the produce that they've grown comes to the cooking classroom, the kitchen, and then they sit down around a family table and share the food that they prepare together. You know, you're doing things, you're learning through doing. Kids that struggle in a regular classroom often really shine in this kind of environment. What are we doing over here now? Cutting kale. Cutting kale? We're doing some harvesting? Yeah. Beautiful. So everyone point to the leaf that you want to harvest. Oh, these look good. <laughs> these look great. You're going to find the lowest point of the leaf, and you're going to give it a quick snip. Yo, Alan has the biggest one. Look at Alan. Look at Alan. That's great. We can put it in our bucket. All right, we're going to put them in. All right. This will be for farm stand. Great job, guys. Very good, very good. The thing I like about going to class is that we get to that we get to plant and we get and we get to learn about about new types of plants. Yeah, what are the what are some of the plants that we have planted around like right around here? Strawberries. Um, strawberries, basil, mm -hmm. kale. Mm -hmm. um, um, what is that thing called? Cilantro. Cilantro. Wow, you guys got a lot here. Just to hear these little guys kind of. Um, rattle off the vegetables that mm -hmm. were grown in the garden. And, you yeah. know, I ask a simple question, like, what are you guys growing? And then it's like, oh, we're growing kale, we're growing pea shoots, we're growing fennel, we're growing... Yeah. And, you know, I, I didn't even know what those vegetables were, yeah. you know, until probably I got to culinary school, half of them. Right. But uh, these kids, you know, have the knowledge that, that you gave them. So we're teaching these kids from planting seeds to growing seeds to harvesting to cooking so that they understand the broader food system and that they have an appreciation for and a love of good food. So we're up in the classroom now and the fourth graders came from the garden upstairs to the classroom and we're getting ready to break out some of the vegetables that we just harvested and get into cooking and making a salad. For the leaves, we're going to break off the stems at the end, right? And then we're going to use scissors to cut them into little pieces. All right? Right, what's this, guys? Onion. Onion. Chives. Chives, right. You want to try one? It's in the, it's in the onion family. So it's going to taste like green onion. And they also have, the, did you guys see the chive blossoms? Did you see? So they actually have flowers, which you can eat also. What do you think, guys? How is it? Good? <laughs> All right, talk to me. What are you doing over here? Uh-oh. You knew I was coming. You knew I was coming, didn't you? I'm cutting lettuce and kale. They're doing the whole process. They're planting, they're harvesting, and cooking and eating. So uh, I think that's real powerful for these kids. Watch your finger. Watch your finger. I think a lot of the times the communities that are under-resourced mm -hmm. are kind of not looked at a lot. Mm -hmm. So I feel, especially with Edible Schoolyard being mm -hmm. in East Harlem, it's definitely a very positive impact to the community, mm -hmm. even just um, from walking on the street and seeing the garden and inviting the community. So it's not only the school, but it's also the surrounding community and the people living in it that we're trying to impact. We have the kids um, sell produce that they've grown in the garden, and we supplement that produce. It's not just the work that we're doing in the school itself, but how we can bring that work to the broader community, to families. I was lucky enough to spend the day with the kids, and what they're doing in there is really unbelievable. This is so important to human life. I'm telling you, it's very important. One of my favorite things about our program is that we always sit down around the table and share food around the table. And just that sense of kind of community is also something that's just so, so valuable and often lost in, in, in schools and, and families today. Do you like sitting down together to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly like <laughs> Thank you. It's like we're a 
It's like a big family, huh? Yeah. Dressing time. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Little splash never hurt nobody. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Anyone ready to say thanks? So one, two, three. Thank you, gardeners. Thank you, cooks. Eat. <laughs> bon appetit. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of it is the radish. The radish is your favorite part? Yeah. I'm glad to have friends here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Mm -hmm. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. 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 Bring it